We hope you enjoy. Rachel Lawson's Shadow Play from her Magician series as read by the author. The Magicians Shadow Play I am pleased to be visiting this theatre. I have always wanted to work here, said a disembodied voice, melting into a handsome, tall, blue-eyed man with black hair, a tux and a top hat. So am I. Rather shortly jerked his partner in the act. A tall, goth-looking man with blue eyes and brown hair. The black-haired man took off his hat elegantly and the brunette pulled out a rabbit from the hat. No, Max, don't. Said the black-haired man. The curtains fell, and Max pulled the hat from the rabbit, which exploded. The stage manager ran on the stage to blast Max for ruining the show again. Let go, clean up. You're covered in blood again said the stage manager to the black-haired man. Lake wandered off. Seeing an oddly dressed man who looked like an opera singer in costume out of the corner of his eye for a moment, he turned to talk to him. And he was gone. So Blake went to clean up in the dressing room. On his way, yeah, Blake got a fright. A hand touched his shoulder. He jumped and screamed in terror. You drama queen, a voice said and laughed. Oh, it's only you, said the spook Blake, slightly relieved. Why are you so jumpy? asked Blake's son, Lance Senior. This place is haunted, said Blake. Haunted? Why are you scared of ghosts? You are a grim reaper, said Lance, who was one too. I think I saw him, said Blake nervously. Why didn't you take him in for processing? asked Lance seriously. I can't hide my corpse here. I don't know this place well enough, said Blake, who was equally as serious. Blake had to die to release his reaper soul, and he usually hid his body when his soul was out of his body, for safekeeping. Let's find the ghost. I can take him. Into processing, said Lance. I have to change. I'm covered in blood. Because of Max. A psycho vampire keeps trying to pull bits out of my pet rabbits. I'm black banned by most of the breeders in town because of him. Said Blake shortly. That's sad. But you are a sorcerer. Zap yourself, Queen, said Lance. True, Blake said, and waved his hand over himself and appeared clean in a black shirt and pants with glasses. Were you in the audience? asked Blake. Yes, said Lance. Let's go find your ghost. Take me to where he was. Yes, said Blake. They wandered off. He was here, but he's gone, said Lance, sniffing the air.
where Blake saw the ghost? Yes, said Blake, sniffing. What did he look like? asked Lance. No fister, said Blake. Really, Dad? Was he that bad? said Lance. No, he died playing him. In Faust, that's an opera, Blake said. So you know who he was, said Lance. You don't know the Phantom of the Opera, Blake chuckled. Yeah, Gaston Leroux wrote it, and it was performed here as a musical yonks ago. He is not real, said Lance. Not that one. Frederick Baker, said Blake. Frederick Baker? said Lance, puzzled. Federici, the Phantom of the Princess Feta, said Blake. Feta Watsi, Lance said. Ricci. Federici. He's called, Blake said inside. Call him Fred. Okay, why is Fred still here? said Lance. Don't know, Blake said. I smell him. He went this way, said Lance, using his reaper sense. The smell. He smelt ghosts. They followed the smell till they found him sitting in the now empty dress circle of the auditorium, watching the stage through the empty curtains. Hi, Fred, said Lance to the ghost. It was now in a smart Victorian hero suit. Fred looked nervous. Hello, Fred said nervously. Why are you here? asked Blake. I was curious what happened earlier, said Fred. Oh, only my assistant in the magic act is always trying to pull hats out of rabbits said Blake, sitting down near the ghost, looking depressed. I hope it haunts you, too. would love to have a pet. So lonely here, said Fred, smiling. Blake couldn't help but smile, thinking it's a ghost for a pet rabbit. We actually came here to help you, said Lance. You did? How? asked Fred. We came here to take you to the other side, said Lance. What other side? I can roam the entire theatre. I can show you any room if you're lost, said the ghost. Oh no, we're not lost, said Blake laughing. You are. I'm lost, said Fred, puzzled. You were meant to have been taken to the afterlife when you died, said Blake seriously. I thought so. I saw a grim reaper after I died. I think I scared him off, said Fred, remembering his death. I see. You were dressed as Fisto, I suppose, said Blake. Yes, said Fred. I think someone is in trouble, said Lance. Yes, said Blake, the king of the grim reapers, frowning. Fred looked nervous. You're not in trouble said Blake, trying to calm down the ghost. We are reapers. We found you to take you to the afterlife. Well, he will, said Blake. Reapers? There are more of them? said Fred. Yeah. I don't want to go, said Fred. He loved haunting the theatre. You have to go to the afterlife. You can't haunt a place of life, said Lance. It didn't take them long to convince him. He'd be less lonely in the afterlife, and they could get him a pet rabbit. Helped. 
plants took him for processing in the afterlife. The end.